What is going on, lunatics? Leave it to Believer. I'm about to hit you with a math problem here. We're going to talk about some, some things. I'm going to meander just a little bit. I apologize about this. There's a lot going on, and I want to cover a whole bunch of different things. I don't want to take too much time out of it. I just, I'm going to give you things to think about, and then we're going to dig into some of this over the next couple of days. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like button. helps me out tremendously. If you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe uh, and, and hit the bell to be notified. I do one at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time every day. We talk about Luna Classic and everything going on in the Luna Classic community. So let's kick it off with what is happening in the Luna Classic community. And first up, it's not Terra Casino. Just, just, it's not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We're going to get there, but not yet. All right. So, uh, Happy Caddy came out yesterday, uh, says that he doesn't know anything. Take one moment, allow for pause to that sink in. I'm just messing around here. Um, Happy Caddy said that he doesn't know about the $150 million burn or $150 million token burn. It just kind of popped up out of nowhere and it was not a Terraform Labs wallet. He can't find it as a Terraform Labs wallet. Now, can he confirm or can he say that it is or is not a real Terraform wallet? And the answer to that is no, because he has the data on everything that is out there but they have wallets that have yet to be exposed, I'm sure, that are not on this original list. So in in good faith, in good will, uh, I would think that most probably they're going to, they're not going to try to manipulate the system, I, I would think. So everything that's in those wallets would end up getting burned. Now, I don't think that that's it. I, I don't know for sure, and I can't say for sure. But... We don't know. So it, I would encourage you to go check out this video by Happy Caddy Crypto. It's called Massive Lunk Burns Exposed, but who did it? And you know, basically, don't know. So keep you posted in the event that you know, can find out who it is. Um, the, he, he dug in, you know, tried to, to, to figure it out. Again, something that big, Terraform Labs most probably, but we don't know. So uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll have some more information for you on that later. Now, let's move on to something that's been sticking with me for a while, and that's Bitcoin Turk. Guys, I'm going to give you information that the veterans know, and that is staking. That's where you make a lot of cryptocurrency. And Cryptonomy.finance allows you to stake a lot of cryptocurrency and earn a spectacular yield off of it. And I'm going to show you what I mean right now. You guys know I've been a big fan of Ondo. All right, guys, so my APY on Ondo right now is I have 11,500 Ondo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the maximum amount in here. Uh, I'm going for six months. Again, like I think that the market is going to have a big rip that I want to get this back out. Actually, I'm going to go with nine months because that gives me up until March of next year. And guys, if you follow me, you know I like March of next year as a big moment in crypto. So I'm going to stake this 71.8% yield on the interest rate for this. I'm going to continue. I'm going to put this in here. All right, guys, I am now holding and I am now staking uh, 1,011, I'm sorry, 11,500 Ondo that'll be available to me on April 6th of 2025. And by that time, there will be 71% more Ondo. Now, will the price go up? I don't know. I, I don't know if the price is going to go up. However, uh, I will have more Ondo in case the price goes down or whatever happens. That's what the benefits of staking are. Guys, it is imperative upon you. Make sure that you're staking your crypto. Use cryptonomy.finance to stake your crypto or you may end up regretting it. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Check out cryptonomy.finance today. I started to look because I wanted to find out what was going on with Bitcoin Turk. Now, if you remember, they were hacked. Uh, 343 billion tokens, something like that, were moved from their wallet to Binance in an attempt to steal uh, those tokens through a hack. They were then blacklisted, so they are effectively out of circulation right now, being held by Binance pending the outcome of the investigation. In the meantime, we got this statement from Bitcoin Turk. It said that it will delist Lunk. In the statement, it was announced that it had decided to delist as of 1500. We would be happy if our followers who receive this notification share it under this post. So, um, what are they doing? Well, we don't really have an idea yet. But the question is, what do you do with those tokens? Because they're now you know, not on the chain. Well, that leads to an entirely separate and different issue. Now, uh, let me get into this just a little bit deeper here. Uh, this is why did the price soar 9% when this happened? Now, this was about three weeks ago, so this is not current news, but we're going back to this for, for a reason. So as you scroll through down here, and it was 434 billion, not 343 billion, I apologize, dyslexia must have set in or something like that. After the alleged hack, 
Um, Bitcoin Turk has decided to delist Lunk. Uh, the question is, if these funds are part of the hack, are they ever going to be unfrozen again? Are these now in a way burned? Mm. That I now this is my questions are about burns. You're going to see that I'm 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 really trying to to figure some stuff out here today uh, because I think it's important for you guys to help you out to figure out you know let's talk price action right. Well, uh, the fate of the stolen lunt tokens is still unknown. In the past, such cases have resulted in the freezing of assets, and that's exactly what happened. Binance has frozen those assets. Uh, they've been quite engaged in the management in the aftermath of the Bitcoin Turk hack. The exchange has already blocked over 5.3 million in stolen funds that were withdrawn through its platform. At the same time, the Terra Classic community is still working on decreasing Lunk and UST token circulation. Okay, so you know, we're doing that, but here's the thing. More than 6.5 billion Lunk tokens were burned, which affected the total and circulating supply greatly. So that is fine. Perfect, right? But let me show you something that 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 is a problem, right? So coming over here, and we discussed this briefly yesterday, and I know, again, I know I'm jumping around here, but I, I want to get all this out here in the open. Um, so I'm looking at circulating supply. I'm looking at total supply. Do you know what? Total supply really has never moved. Uh, the only thing that moves is circulating supply. Now, um, if we were to take, for example, what is the total value of the tokens out here? Well, the total value of the tokens, 491 million fully diluted market cap. Now, what that means is that the valuation of your tokens in your wallet right now is not based, it's, it's circulating supply uh, versus market cap, but uh, the total supply includes uh, in, in that there's there's the fully diluted market cap, right? So a hundred million dollars worth of this market cap is not included in that circulating supply, okay? So at some point, these have to be burned off chain. They're not burned off chain. If there was one token here, in circulating supply, but the total supply was still 6.794 trillion, then the market cap would be, you know, 0. 0.000072 right now. And the fully diluted would still be 491 million. So there's a problem here mathematically that we've got to fix. And that is, how do we start to burn some of this total supply? It is my opinion that moving the difference between to uh, uh, circulating supply and total supply is a trick used in this market to uh, make you feel like burns have an effect on your price. They do not. Removing them from the blockchain does have a, have a make a difference here, okay? And what I wanted to do to show you as an example, uh, look at the price we are right now. We're at four zeros, 72.51, okay? Uh, with that 6.794 trillion total supply. Now, what if I took the fully diluted market cap and I, did it by the circulating supply. Well, if I did that, then it becomes four zeros, nine zero zero five. So you can see right here, there's about a 13, 14% increase in price action if that were to happen. Now, let me take it back one step here and we're gonna look at the market cap. There was a market cap. There was a time when back in 12, tw uh, four of 2023, we were at 1.5 billion market cap. If we go a little bit longer here, uh, then you can see, you know, there there was this this massive run right here to 139 billion. That was before the collapse. So what we're looking for is that big move, the you know, the biggest move right here. So at one point, September 9 of 2022, when we thought there might be a shot, sort of a chance here that there was going to be a legitimate recovery, the market cap was 2.65 billion. Okay. Now, if we go to 2.65 billion, and we take this uh, 2.69 billion, and now we divide by the, the 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 circulating supply. Again, we're doing this by circulating supply. Then you're looking at three zeros, 49.30. So, just to give you an idea here, price action would be phenomenally higher if we were to reduce total supply uh, to that circulate. If we can get the to the the total supply down to a level where the circulating supply is more in line with that total, that fully diluted market cap comes into play. And then this market cap right here will end up being the same and it'll be closer to, it'll be this, it won't be this, okay? So this is just percentages, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you. So how do we burn total supply? That's, that's what's missing right now, in my opinion, from this chain. And by the way, there's a lot missing. There's, there, there, I'm not saying it's the only thing, but this is an important factor that makes things a little bit weird, right? Because what we're doing out here is we're trying to find and we're trying to navigate this thing and, and try to make it as as awesome, if you will, as we possibly can so that it's attractive for people, so that we have 
protocols, we have reasons for all this stuff to exist. We're working diligently on this chain, but we're not actually reducing any supply. So how do we get back to reducing that total supply? Uh, blacklisting wallets, cool. That just means they can't trade, but the value of the token is still included. Um, blacklisting 434 billion from Bitcoin Turk, um, fine, but that's still total. And by the way, let me point out here, this is how, this is how weird this gets. Uh, circulating supply right here, 5.459 trillion. Uh, let's go to Lunk Metrics. Lunk Metrics, uh, circulating supply is, is supply is 5.76 trillion. Um, and total supply, 6.78 trillion versus 6.79 trillion. There's uh, 10 billion tokens uh, in question here that apparently don't show up on, on one of these radars or the other. There's something wrong here with the total count. We're, we're, we don't have a, a clarity on that. And we should get, we should be more clear. So I'm working right now on finding the right answers for you guys to figure out how do we get the token supply, the total supply reduced? That's the issue, right? It's always been the issue. So, and what that does, by the way, is it increases the value of the tokens in circulation. Again, if you have a total supply of 6.79 trillion, then your market cap is always going to be part of that whole thing. Now, in the event that the market cap, for example, right now is 396 million, and you divide that by the circulating supply, that's going to give you your price. But that total supply means those tokens could be moved back into this market. That blacklist could be uh, could be removed, and those tokens could be sold. So you know there are risks here. So what we want to do is we want to get that total supply down, not the circulating supply, the total supply down. That's that's the goal that we're looking for. So. I'm going to see what I can do in order to get that. And that's going to be my gamble, if you will. Oh, snap. I just said gamble. Guys, if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, you got to go check out Terra Casino. You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it, right? This is Donald Trump's favorite um, uh, risk-based gaming outlet right here. TerraCasino.io. Go check it out. Lunk, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon, USDC, USDT, uh, maybe even USDY one day soon. You never know. Dogecoin, whatever you want. You can bet on sports, PvP poker, uh, slots, live casino play. Uh, you can bet on Bitcoin. Uh, futures, it's, it's almost a futures trading based premise here, but uh, go check it out today and use the link down below to sign up. Uh, that helps me out tremendously. And by the way, this is the number, this is the number seven overall burner in all of the Luna Classic ecosystem. Now they can't incinerate it off of the chain. They can only send it to a burn wallet, but we had to find a way to burn everything that's in that burn wallet and just incinerate it once and for all. And I think we got to, you know, at some point, come up with something like that to, to just get rid of it all, if you will. So let me know what you think about that, by the way, in, in the comment section. But check out Care, the Terra Casino today. Also, now we're going to move on to the next piece. And I'm following up on what I told you guys yesterday. Uh, Pulsar Station, Enterprise, and Warp are all up for sale, but we don't have a buyer. Uh, these things are probably going to be very quiet before we get any information off of it. So right now, we have no idea who the buyers could be or would be or if there are even potential buyers. So uh, we will know that a little bit later on. Also, along with that, there is a, a, a conversation to be had here about uh, they're, they're, they're selling these four companies and Luna Classic is eyeing a 40% breakout. Now, why is it eyeing a 40% breakout? Well, this chart right here, this basically it's the same chart that we kind of use over here. I just have it zoomed in. If I take it out to the daily and we look at it from a daily perspective, then you see this is the same thing that I've been telling you guys all this time, right? So, and what's the breakout here? Uh, to 2000, right? So what do they say the breakout is to? Uh, they say the breakout is 40%. Where does that go? Oh, 2000, you say. Duh, uh, it's obvious, right? It's, it should be obvious to you. And they're looking at the same thing and they're telling you that they think the same thing here is about to happen. Now, the question before we get any further on that is what about that breakdown? Well, you know, we still have to look at it on the hourly basis. Have we broken back up into range? No, we've made some recovery, but we haven't broken back into the range. This still is a significant, and I mean significant, there's a significant problem. We've got to get back into this range because here's what's happening right now. Buyers are coming in and buying at this level 
but they're looking to sell at some point. They're looking to sell at a profit. If they're getting stuck right here, they're going to sell at a loss or something like that, further dumping the price. We need new buyers to step in to get over this area. It is a psychological realm right now. If we don't get back into this area, there is going to be more downside pressure. Not, it's not a threat. That's a guarantee. That's the way people's minds work. Uh, this is crypto, bro. We only have one trillion uh, that are currently being staked. And that's significant, but that's not gigantic. So uh, we've got to do something about that. We've got to get that circulating. So we've got to do something about getting it back into the range here so that that breakout that they're now predicting, uh, along with me, does actually happen because it will not happen uh, the, the, the way that everything is currently lined up. So um, that's, you know, that's, that's, and by the way, their number, a little more aggressive here. They're, they're letting the wicks run on the tops over here. So when they come into it, they're going to come in at about 19, like 1.9. But if we come over here and we look at this, it'd be way higher if that circulating supply wasn't 6.794, or the total supply wasn't 6.794 trillion. So um, there you go. Um, we, we want those tokens to be absolutely incinerated off of the chain, period. So um, as far as the meme coin space, um, I've got about 5,000 Terra now, and I've got about 12 million Rakoff. So uh, holding on to those for a little while just to see where it goes. And by the way, when I say that, Roddy went absolutely bonkers in the last little while, had a nice big lift. So if you had Roddy, remember, I, I, I didn't fade Roddy. I just haven't gotten it yet um, because I, I was making moves, if you will, and uh, waiting for an opportune moment to kind of get in there. And I just, I haven't yet. So um, remember that's on the radar. And speaking of on the radar, yo, dog, uh, let's go check this out. Uh, Terraport.finance. This is where you come for your meme coins, right? Well, let's go into earn. Let's go into launch pad. And hey, uh, I now have 394 uh, out of the potential 1500. Uh, we're going to claim for our daily login right there. Boom. Uh, we've earned 2,573 points so far uh, for the rocket token launch. Remember, this is a uh, tower defense game. I'm super excited about a, a, a tower defense game. I haven't done a swap yet. Before the end of the day, I will do a swap, some Rakoff to Terra or some Terra to Rakoff, something like that. When I get a favorable moment on a swap, um, then I'll make a, a, I'll make a quick transition over there to make sure that I get uh, 500 more points on that swap so that I'm accumulating and getting a little bit more. You should be doing the same thing. Go to Terraport.finance. Guys, Rocket, when it launches, it, you know, this, it, it, it's free money. It's, it's, it's free money, or at least it's free tokens, and they could be worth money. You never know. I'm not a financial advisor. I can't really tell you that it's going to be worth anything. I, I would like to think that it will be, but you never know. So um, certainly go to Terraport.finance and check it out. Um, and then finally, we're going to close with the release of the 3.1.0 Oracle split, changing the way that they do it. That should come up for governance right now. There is no governance currently out here, uh, no proposals active or otherwise. So that's it, guys. That's your that's your update right now. I'm asking the questions about the the circulating supply. I'm realizing. I look my math my math is going to be messed up in my brain a little bit here. I'm I'm sure there's going to be things that I'm missing here that I'm not you know thinking clearly through or something like that. There's 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 things, but uh, generally speaking, I think we what we need to do is we need to find ways to remove that. Um, uh, we, we need to find ways to remove that total supply. Uh, I think in my brain, it, it affects the, the amount a little bit more than what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it, it, we'll see how this all plays out. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would like to get that total supply down. I would feel more comfortable with that supply down. We certainly, imagine if we were just at 3 trillion circulating supply. Half, you know, the price of this would effectively double, you know. Um, so, um, let's get there. Let's, let's figure out how do we get there. Uh, let's, let's figure out how to make it no go backs, no backsies, if you will. Um, and, and if we can do that, then we might have a little pump on our hand. Tax to gas should be implemented pretty soon. A lot going on. A lot that we're not talking about, but it's there and it's happening. It's only a matter of time. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.